let's simplify this expression and we need to insert absolute value bars when necessary. If you'll recall, if I have the nth root of a raised to the nth power and n is some positive even number, this is the absolute value of a. And I write the absolute value so that I am sure that the answer is not negative. So when we're dealing with even roots, the nth root of a to the n is the absolute value of a. That applies here. The fourth root of this expression raised to the fourth power is the absolute value of 4xy. Uh, by the way, we have not inserted absolute value bars before because we assumed variables uh, took on positive numbers or represented positive numbers only, and we are not assuming that here. So we have the absolute value of 4xy. That is fine, or it is true that the absolute value of a product is the product of the absolute values. So I can write this as the absolute value of 4 times the absolute value of xy, and of course the absolute value of 4 is 4, so that would be 4 absolute value of the product xy.